Okay. Need to talk about pendentives versus squinches. I mentioned squinches before when it came to San Vitale, which is also another uh, Byz Byzantine church that was sponsored by Justinian, although again, San Vitale is in Ravenna in Italy and Justinian never set foot there. Um, but squinches were a solution for how to put a circle, you know, a dome is essentially circular onto a square. So we see squinches are these mostly straight uh, support beams that help to hold up the circle so that it can fit onto the square and the square is the generally one of the major shapes that is part of the centralized part of a central centrally planned building. Um, so that was San Vitale for the squinches. What makes Aja Sophia unique is and where it is an instance of architectural innovation is its use of pendentives. And you'll watch a video that talks about this as well. But we know that there are four huge beams uh, uh, below the dome of Aja Sophia that help support the weight of the dome. Uh, and we see that this basically makes a square shape. But instead of squinches, the uh, architects used pendentives, which are kind of like the, uh, you know, the, the spaces between the or among the arches that are helping support um, they're triangular in shape and they curve and they are a more elegant solution to uh, the problem of how to fit a round dome onto a square base uh, so it makes the uh, the the dome and the height at which it's raised seem even more miraculous because it looks like it's being held up by less um, because it hides the piers that the uh, is helping to support the weight here. So that's a big deal are the pendentives uh, that help support the dome of Aja Sophia. So squinch construction, that helps, uh, that uh, fills the upper angles of a square room. So the round base uh, or, the, or, the, or the octagonal base, but in this case, the round base of a sphere can rest on it. But pendentive, oh, I'm seeing a block here. Here we go. The pendentive is a curved triangle. So we can see that curved triangle is being formed by the spaces that fill up uh, in between the arches or among the arches uh, that help to support it. All right, squinches versus pendentives. Whoops. And so there we see squinches because we see these straight lines to help support the dome on this building and the pendentives, right? So we see how the pendentives hide the beams here. There are much thicker support systems behind these pendentives, but the pendentives help to uh, mask that. Okay. So squinches versus pendentives. How do you put a circle on a square, squinches or pendentives. Um, okay, follow up.